Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Apple CarPlay uh, with your Kia Cerato 2019. Now, in order for you to use uh, Apple CarPlay, you need to connect it to your uh, car via the USB cable. So you need to plug in the lightning cable to the USB port right here. That is the connection for your yeah, Apple CarPlay. And so we're going to connect this to the phone. Okay, so now it is uh, connected and you will need to set up your device uh, if it hasn't set up before. And you also need to enable Siri on your uh, iPhone as well. So make sure in here you turn on uh, Siri. If Siri is not switched on, you have to uh, turn it on first. And on your car, then you want to uh, press on the setup button then tap on bluetooth so this one here at the moment is is disabled because it have already automatically uh, connected to the iphone because previously i have set up um, the iphone already so now i can straight away use the apple carplay okay so once you have your phone connected to the system um, apple carplay will be available on your display right here you can press on the home button down here and then tap on apps in here you can see there will be Apple CarPlay. If you tap on that, it will go into the last um, apps that you have used in Apple CarPlay. If you tap on the middle key down here, it will show you all the apps available for you to use. So you can swipe it across. At the moment, it is um, using the map. You can swipe across to see other apps, such as the phone, the music app, the maps, messages, now playing, Kia, podcast, audiobooks, calendar, and settings. So let's look at the phone application. So if you tap on the phone, you can see uh, your favorite contacts in here, recent. Uh, you can tap on contacts to view all the contacts. You can tap on the keypad to make a phone call. So you can make the phone call directly in here and then tap on the dial button. So that's the phone application right there. It's quite straightforward. It's just like on your mobile device. You can just uh, go down the contacts and then uh, tap on that to make a phone call or send a, a text message. Now, when you are sending text message, you have to use a uh, voicemail. Just a sec. And that's it. So now let's look at other applications. Uh, you got music, so you can play music. Uh, I don't have any music on my device, on my iTunes. Uh, if you've got uh, music on iTunes, you can play in here. There's a library. You can tap on pl playlist or you can uh, tap on radio. So let's look at other ones. So you got maps. You already seen maps. So in maps, you can uh, use the maps right here. Uh, you can uh, start navigations, you can tap on the maps, and uh, you can put in a new address. Head west on Markham Way. So at the moment then it is, the so Take about the a noise. So I'm just going to end route here. So end route. And in here, when you want to go, you tap on the search button. So you tap on the search. And then it's got some uh, close by locations, such as petrol, uh, parking, or restaurants. You can use the microphone. Uh, voice command or you can use the keyboard and on the keyboard you just type in what you want where you want to go and then tap on that and then tap on go and here Head west on it will Way. show you how then to get the there roundabout, take the second exit on to so Red i'm just on the end route and then you got destination and search again in search you can uh, do other things you can use a microphone where would you like to go navigate to Fremantle Getting directions to Fremantle. Then tap on the go button. Starting route to Fremantle. And that's it. So you can see that's how you can Head use the map. Head west on Markham Way. Then at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Redcliffe Avenue. The second exit onto Redcliffe Avenue. 